What is going on guys, it is 21Maxwell here and welcome to episode 20 of the Red Bull Leipzig save. Um, we are in a pretty poor, uh, I don't even know how to describe this position right now. I want to say we're in a good position, it's hard to say, you know, 31 games played, 3 games to go. The highest total of points we can get is, is 59 and uh, hopefully, you know, we're just going to take a lot of freak results to catch up in Dusseldorf and Cup Bus. But even that, you know, you're hoping of the resident of a poor run of form, Cologne as well, just everybody's hot form at the right time. Since you last joined us, um, there's been three games. A run of great form ended at 1860 Munich when Marvin Dusk and Lone from Dortmund scored a double. Two utterly fantastic goals. Uh, we more had more of the shots, but they were, they were just outstanding against us, you know what I mean? They're just clinical. We then took on Firth at home, Jesse Lingard stole the show, was absolutely outstanding in that trick, Artista Roll scored the two goals and a good win there, just edged it. And that was a good win to get form and confidence high again. Then we travelled to Kiel, we went 2 up, Jesse Lingard scored again, Daniel Fran had a penalty, 2 up, I think we're cruising. They scored two quick goals in the second half through Sui Long and Kazor before the Jesse Lingard show. He literally ran about, it, curated so much space for Daniel Fran. He gets that trick. Lugie scored a goal. Tigo with an absolutely world class free kick. And in the end, we run out resounding 6 2 winners. So here we go, guys. It's Dusseldorf to say it's must win. You know, there's no question about it. To stay in this title hunt, to stay in the promotion hunt. Even sorry, we need we need to just stop them winning. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens here. You know, let's say they are eight points clear of us. At least we cut it down to five. Um, it gives us another week anyway to have a chance. If not, you know, we, we, the lowest wing finish is tenth now. Hopefully, we can end the season pretty strongly. And um, if we don't manage to scrape that playoff position, then at least we'll get knowing. We're going to be strong for next season, and Ben Shop with a goal there from the set piece. Pretty much sums up how it looks like it's going to be this year. It looks like it is going to be another season in Bundesliga 2. But uh, hopefully we can get the, the Deadwood out of the squad, we can get some more quality in, and if we can get depth and quality, especially in the back line, then hopefully, you know, we could be looking at promotion next year. I think Villers isn't good enough for the next level. Bernsker is one of those ones to develop. You know, I mean, he'll take a couple of years and have a good player, but that could be an opener. The red card there from Lanka. We need this to get in, Luggy. And he fails that wide, so Lack is gone. And we're going to put all the pressure on them now. Tigo, Fran, Tigo, Jesse Lingard again. And then this guy is an un just an unreal run of form at the moment, Jesse Lingard. He's ninth goal of the season. Played back in from Tigo's weak foot, and Jesse Lingard in front of his man. 1-1, one, one. can we go on and win this and at least give us a small fighting chance that we can get promoted for the playoff, come on. Kirk running, good save from Bonman again, only with the ball in, Villers away, Brozdek, and they're there panicking now back to Michael Renzen and he just puts out to play the former Bayern Munich goalkeeper. That's it boys, get the ball on the deck, play it to feet, that's it, Villers, Kayal, good ball to Lugie. Poor from Lugie. Good interception, but we're caught. Shit, and Kirk makes it 2 1. Ah, fuck. I think we panicked a little bit there. Omai plays the ball in, and Kirk controls it, blasts it, and that's just a phenomenal finish. And at the top corner, Bonman's got absolutely no chance with that. And at half time, it's 2 1 Dusseldorf. And we really need to try and get the passion of these players showing. I'm actually going to sacrifice Byram Kayal. We're going to put on Yusuf Poulsen. We're going to go 4 4 2 Diamond. That'll be a target man in advance uh, forward there. Uh, middle of the park, we'll keep it the same there. And we'll have to go attacking, it's all we can do. Just try and put them under a bit of pressure. I'm going to change it up for like, honestly, just a, a period of 8 minutes. Teal smacks the crossbar with his corner. That happens far too often in FM. Come on, make an actual opportunity. Back to attacking. We'll make our next change. That's going to be Andre Lugie out for Thiago Rockenbach. And we're going to take off Pitbull. 
Yeah, sorry, Fran for Pep, but we'll, we'll keep your ankle on. I know he's got a knock, but to be honest, we need our best players out there if he can get through that and then if he misses the rest of the season. That's from Mickey News, uh, Dominic Aduru. So let's hope we can get a late goal. Thiago Rockham back. Ball in. Cleared. Yanko. Back out to the winger. Tigo. Ah, uh, that's poor. It's one of the bad things of him being a, an inside forward. Oh, an inside forward. I keep wanting to say inside forward, but he's a winger. He's also playing mid right that's left footed, and he's still natural there, which is, is weird. So he's not technically an inside forward. We've got a penalty though. It's too little too late. It's going to be Jesse Lingard. He makes it 2 2. It's his 10th goal of the season. But unless we get some sort of miracle here, then we are no longer in the hunt for promotion. Our hopes are going to be ended unless we can get a goal here. Two minutes to go. Villers. Pitbull. Uh, it's just one of their guys that's got it now. Mah uh, Mohamed Kapitz, I think it was. Tigo. Kirk. Pitbull. Pilsen. Why did you play it backwards? Uh, if he's more positive there and driving in and goal, you'd like to think we've got a chance. Tigo's injured, and that is going to go and be the end of our promotion hopes. Yanko takes a throw, it finishes 2 all. I'm lucky it was no day boys to be honest, you know, we should be taking more chances. Jesse Lingard again continues running for him. But puts us in 51 points, the highest now he can finish is 5th. And that could end up being 6 if Dresden win their game against Hertha. So, disappointing to, to draw against Dusseldorf, it keeps their promotion chances there. But it makes us unable to go up and well basically we'll be losing a lot of players. I can quickly show you here a lot of people at a contract and a lot of them are all players we're not using so they're going to go and that's going to give us a good bit of wages for next season. So sorry this is going to end in a disappointment guys. We will have a round off at the end of the season after the game against Allen and then Bearfield on the last day of the season. We'll just summarise where the season went wrong and stuff like that, and then we'll, we'll look forward to the new season. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is 21 Maxwell, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye-bye.